I spent last week in St. Louis working with people who are thinking about transitional ministry, what once was called interim ministry in the Presbyterian Church. And the other faculty and I focused a lot of our time on this book called The Art of Possibility, which is written by two people who are married to each other, whose last name is Zander. Uh, Rosamund Zander is a therapist, and Benjamin Zander conducts symphonies, often working with young people, teenagers and things. So they've written this book together called The Art of Possibility, and then the subtitle is Transform professional and personal life. It's a book that I really enjoy reading and so we taught some of the concepts out of this book. One of those concepts is called enrolling and the idea of enrolling is this, that it is the idea of generating a spark of possibility for others to share. So they talk about the fact that in the Middle Ages, people didn't want to have to start a new fire every place they went because it was very hard to start a fire. So people would spend the day walking around with a cinder that was alive in a little metal box so that they could take it from one place where there had been a fire to the next place where they needed to start a fire. And all day long they kind of had to feed that fire. They had to give it kindling during the day so that it would stay alive until they got to the place to start the next fire. That's kind of the idea of enrolling, that we're carrying this cinder from one place to another and keeping it going so that we can inspire other people in ways that we have been inspired. So they say there are some parts to enrolling that we should remember when we're inviting other people to join things that are very important to us. <clears throat> we need to remember that the other people are an invitation for enrollment. That is, that they are open to this possibility. We need to stand ready to participate ourselves in whatever it is that lights us up so that we can learn new things from the other people. We need to share what it is that lights us up. So we enroll people in things that are really moving to us, that have really changed our lives. And we need to remember that the other people are eager to catch that spark. It always reminds me when I read this book that they aren't writing from any kind of religious perspective at all, but this is what we do when we share the gospel. So this time of year, especially when you have special worship services at your church, whether it's about Thanksgiving or Christmas, imagine the ways that we usually go about inviting people to come, especially people who haven't been around the church for a while. We may, for instance, try to force them to come to worship around Thanksgiving or around Christmas time. We may just give them an assignment. Here's what you have to do to, during December and you must be there and you must show up with this number of cookies in your hand. That kind of thing. We sometimes try to force them to be at the events we are having. Sometimes we try to cajole them. We try to say, oh, it won't be that bad. It won't last that long. The Christmas Eve service never goes on very long. And there will be cookies afterwards. Sometimes we try to guilt trip people into coming to the worship services around Christmas time and Thanksgiving time. We might say things to them like, you haven't been in church in a while, you know. And you say that you're a Christian, but we haven't seen you around, so you really need to come to this Christmas service. Or we might even bargain with them. You know, if you'll come to the 11 p.m. service on Christmas Eve, I will teach your Sunday school class for the whole month of January or something like that. Instead, what the Xanders suggest is that we ought to be inviting people by enrolling them, by saying things to them like, I love the Christmas Eve service at our church because it really helps me feel the Spirit of God with us. And it reminds us of just the heart of our faith. I wouldn't miss that Christmas Eve service for anything or something like that. So I invite you then to use this idea of enrollment, of sharing what lights you up, and of inviting other people to be a part of that as you invite others to share the good news of Jesus Christ with you as you celebrate the season of Thanksgiving and the gift that God has given to each one of us at Christmas time.